Hey guys, so welcome to episode 51. Yes, it's 51. Is that we had 50? We had 50, episode 50. So we are continuing on money and jealousy. We're doing part two. Yesterday, we didn't have enough time to finish up all that was part of part part one. <laughs> yeah. So I am just, I was just saying, because I, I, I logged on now and did, and uh, the, the, the connection got lost. So I was saying, I'm wearing my India t shirt. Hope you guys like it like I do. So, and the other thing I was saying is that now that is winter, now that is summer, we're going to have more live sessions because summer is amazing and I love summer. Well, it's still spring, but I feel like it's summer, so it's fine. Anyway, whichever works, it's fine. So, guys, yesterday we talked about um, money and jealousy, and we, and I had said that, oh, let's get the hair right. Okay, and I had said that there are two people. There's a people that feel like um, they feel the jealousy. So they are the ones who are feeling jealous towards other people. And then there's people who feel that other people are jealousing them. Okay, so and I said that jealousy is a good thing. And I explained a lot on that. And you definitely need to go and check episode 50 to understand it better but let me just like try to like chop it down a little bit and make it quick summary of why i say that because no one wakes up in the morning and think wow today i want to be jealous of this person no one thinks of that no one thinks that no one makes an intention to go out there and be jealous of someone but jealousy is more like it comes to you you feel it automatically you just feel the jealousy thing coming up and you're like why does she have that why does she do that why is it like that why am i not there so it's jealousy is not a thought is a feeling hence i'm saying you don't plan to be jealous on somebody but it just comes to you hence that is when you know that the universe is telling you this thing you are good at it you are ready for it it is part of your own journey too because you're never going to be jealous of everything in this world. You're gonna be jealous of specific things, not everything. So there is no way that you could be jealous of each and everything that, that even that person has. You could only be jealous of a few things unless you are really crazy and then you just want their life because like it looks good and you think you're having a crappy life, which is then a big problem. But in this case, <laughs> we're talking about someone who's okay, who's just jealous of maybe their career, who's jealous maybe of their relationships, who's jealous maybe of um their house or you know so and then we said that if you feel that you feel the jealousy it is because the universe is telling you that you are ready for this you are ready to go for this you you must be doing this this is something that you also like so then we said that deal with it by finding out how can you be like that how can you get the same thing how can you then also start the journey towards that but do not make the mistake of saying Oh, well, let's give them three months. We shall see in three months what will happen. Because then, automatically, you are then giving yourself three months of failure. Because you also want the same thing. You want to keep getting proof of people who are getting it right. And now you want to give yourself proof of someone who's not getting it right. So then, you cannot get it right yourself. So that's what we were saying yesterday on episode 15. So check that out. So today, we're talking about, hey, the dramatic person. <laughs> <laughs> that says people are jealousing me like really people are jealousing me like i wake up in the morning and i can see them they don't enjoy that i have this they don't enjoy my success they don't so we're talking about that person like why does this person feel like this what is wrong with them what is right with them like yeah what's up with that so if you ever feel like people are jealous in you no it's not them it's you so we're going to talk about that today but before we talk about that, definitely there is the book, that amazing book, that book that is mine. <laughs> so guys, the book is available on kindle.com on online. But if you like to have it in your hands, like a lot of my friends love to have it in their hands, you can order it on my website, which is abustiselisha.com. Um, and then you can, it will be delivered to you. Or you can collect it in Leno Pretoria, whichever one is better for you. 
and it is in two part the first part is called money and black people for those who don't know it yet it's now an international bestseller like we have arrived da, 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 da. so that was actually a very um surprising thing for me i did not think my book would be a bestseller like I did not even want to write the book. I'll tell you the story another day. And definitely, being a bestseller, I like, did not think of it. But then it happened that it actually was sold more outside of South Africa than in South Africa. Only now, in South Africa, it's starting to really sell, like, now. But then, internationally, the book is everywhere. It's been sold. It's, 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 it's in New York. It's in Brazil. A lot of Brazilians love my book. Maybe it's because I love them, too. <laughs> okay, I know. Uh, so <laughs> it's selling in Brazil, in the UK, uh, in all sorts of, in all parts of the world. Like it's uh, even in Australia, the other day I was like, wow, really? I did not think that would happen, but it happened. So, <gasps> okay. And in India, obviously, I was in India and I'm wearing an Indian t shirt, and so like that's okay. So, um, the book is now available in, 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 in where else also? There's another place where it's available now. I can't remember. I'll, I'll post it. Okay, so you can get the book. So, okay, the second part of the book. The first part of the book talks about why you might not have money. Why you might be always looking for money and not finding it. Why you might be moving with, you know, the money is this side, you go that side. The money is this side, you go this side. And then you put in so much work. You put in, you work, you work, you work so hard, but then... The bank account doesn't correspond with the hard work you're doing. I mean, you know a lot of people, you have a lot of following, you have all these amazing things that are happening, you know, but you don't have money in the bank account. Like, you don't have, you stress about stuff. Like, where am I, how am I going to get to pay this? How am I going to get to pay this? So that is normally how you have been programmed to think about money and the emotions you have about money. So, yes, there. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Winnie. Hi, oh, offense. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> Uh, I'm not even going to read what you're saying. <laughs> so, uh, the second part then is the 30-day money mindset program that will then help you to change the relationship you have with money. So then, if you have a bad relationship with money, that money does not want to be your friend. Like, it seems like money is just not interested in having, in staying with you for longer or in come, to come in big amounts. Why would that be the case when you work so hard, when you're putting yourself out there so much? So the second part will help you to then reprogram your mind, reprogram your subconscious for the right. So, and then there's one thing that I talk about that. We, you have a money set point, and if your money set point is 10,000 rand, it will always be that you can win a lot of 20 million you will get hit by a bus and you'll go back to your 10,000 rand. So then you need to know how to increase that set point and, and allow yourself to, in, to allow more into your life. Because money is not physical like we were taught. Money is an energy. And that energy is always going to be blocked by your emotions and your thoughts around the subject, which in this case is money. So then allow yourself to remove those uh, in, in, in your way so that money can come in. And it's that easy. I know it sounds like, why? Why? It's so easy. Why am I not having money if it's that easy? It is that easy, but then that's why we have not been told that it's that easy. So that we obviously don't have the money because then someone then can make us do what they want us to do. Okay. So, that's about the book. The other thing that I wanted to tell you guys about is the Friday group. The Friday group is happening every Friday at 2. Sometimes not, but at 2 mostly. And they're singing a happy birthday because my daughter is tanning. <laughs> she doesn't want me to say these things, but it's fine. She's having a birthday. <laughs> so, uh, and my his kids are homeschooled, so they, they, their tutor comes through, and so they they currently uh, is, uh, enjoying the birthday. Um, so I hope you guys don't get distracted. The noise is uh, it's gonna just go down now. Now it's gonna vanish so the next okay so i was talking about the group then the group is every friday we do amazing stuff there. that is where we make the things that makes the mind get the money in the mind in the bank oh so if you want to join us there uh you can just send me an email or an inbox and say we'll see me on the friday group but now we're currently doing a six week series that talks about the fear of success so if you fear success success 
is not going to be part of your life because your mind is always going to try to make sure that you don't get into the trap of being in success because success in your head is not a good thing. Some people say, once I'm successful, I will have, my friends will not like me anymore. Once I'm successful, people will like me for my money. Once I'm successful, people will bother me. Once I'm successful, I will not be nice. Once I'm successful, I will I will not be humble anymore. Once I'm successful, the same thing will happen. Once I'm successful, okay. So, if you have those thoughts about money or success, your subconscious mind will not allow you to have something that's going to trouble you. So, your subconscious mind will always self-sabotage so you will self-sabotage yourself in so many critical ways that like you make sure that you don't have money so that you can be happy because when you are broke no one is bothering you when you are broke you know people love you for who you are when you're broke you know that um you don't have to show up in a certain way in life when you broke uh, uh, there's one lady that i was coaching she said you know at home we they, they, they were they were having spaza shops and all those businesses so they were always in the lookout for people who can come and rob them so they will sleep at night thinking about the people who can break into the house and to want to take this the puzzle stop shop money so for her money is like i don't want you money here because when i have money people want it and they even want to kill me for it so there's no way she has started so many businesses. She is traveling international, buying all sorts of stuff and coming back to South Africa and selling them, but then she does never see the money because her mind is saying money is not good for you. Money is causing stress to you in this and this way. So, and a lot of times, that is what happens in our head. And I also have the same thing. I tell you my story. It's in the book and all that. I also had that, those limiting beliefs and I had to get through them. And mine was that I just needed to work harder. So I had millions. I did not see even them. I wasn't staying and enjoying them. I was always looking for more and I never thought that I had enough because for me, I was just told that we don't have enough and we can't have enough. And that was it. And a whole lot of other stuff. So um, join us on the Friday group because that's where we do the practical exercises, the real deal stuff. And it, it always helps when you're in a group of people who are like-minded and who understand where you want to go and you understand where they want to go and you help each other. And they understand that money is an energy thing. So it's not just about knowing, you know, financial literacy or anything like that, which is also fine. But then you can't, you, you can try to save as much as you want. You can try to budget as much as you want. If your vibration is wrong, it's wrong. You're just going to continue suffering anyway. Okay. So, yeah. Now, <laughs> I'll teach you about, okay, then we have the coaches boot camp. It's going to be amazing. Join that. It's starting on the, it's, it's on the 29th of September. So, if you want to be a coach, if you ever think that you have helped someone and you feel like, wow, I can help you, you. I can help people. I can show people uh, what to, how to do this and how to get over this. But then you, like, don't charge them for anything. Oh, well, it's not a business. Or you think that you will enjoy doing this f more, more times in your life. So maybe like half of your life you like to be helping people. So you want to be a coach. So come through. If you already are a coach and you're not making money, definitely come through. We don't want coaches that are broke. It's just not right. It's just not okay. So if you're, and if you're a coach that is good, making a good practice out of that, but you also just want to go to the next level, you want to be a, a, an expert, you want to be known, like even internationally, you want to be known as that. So then come through. And if you ever think you will ever want to be a coach one day, come through. <laughs> okay, so it's on the 29. Send me an email or just, just check on my, on my page. You'll see the information on, on, on the coaches board camp. Okay, so then let's get to business. Let's talk about this thing of jealousy. So guys, I don't even want to talk about this thing of jealousy because it's like, why? But then I get a lot of um, inquiries that are talking about this thing of jealousy. Talking about people that are like doing funny stuff to other people and making other people feel somehow and it's not right, obviously. We're trying to fix the country, right? Okay, so now we're talking about today the person who feels like the people are jealous in them. So now, if you have ever, it's not going to be a good one, I know, but just like don't... <laughs> Do not hate me for this, but I'm just going to tell you the truth. Okay, so if you have ever felt like someone is jealous in you, what is happening is that you have made 
so much effort to be where you are right now. And this effort, you really believe that it is you who made it happen. So in this case, I always talk to women who are saying, you know what, I don't want a broke man. Well, we'll talk about that another day. But there's a whole chapter on that. On money and relationships, money and women, money and men. So I don't want to go into that deep, but I just want to give you an example. So the woman's like, I don't want men who are broke. Okay, fine, it's fine. You don't want men who are broke, it's fine. Now, the thing is this. Because you're judging this guy that you are 40, he's 40. You have money. You have made a life for yourself. You've bought a car. You've bought a house. You've, you, you, you know you are okay. He doesn't have nothing. And you're like, guy, where were you all the time? Where were you when I was out there making money and trying that stuff and going to study and doing things? Like, what, 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 what were you doing? Like, you were sleeping the whole time. Now you want to come into my life with zero rent. What, no, no, I don't work like that. Okay, so now it's because you think and you know that you made the money. But when you have not worked for the money as in sweat for it, you have allowed it in your life. So opportunities that happen to you that got you to have all the stuff you want were opportunities that you knew that I just had to set up myself vibrationally correct and the opportunities came to me i did not have to send a thousand cvs and only got hired on the on the thousand and one cv i didn't have to go to so many interviews i didn't have to 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 to, to, to market to a million people before my business work i didn't have to do so much work the right people that wanted my business came to me at the right time and they were right people who did not ask for discounts who did not give me trouble paying my my, my for my services who never thought that this and this and this and this and this. So it was all easy. And you know that it's easy not because you are special, but it's easy because you have set your mind correctly. So then you know that this success, it's not something that you can lose. Or it's not something that you only can have. He can also have it. It's just that he doesn't know the information of how to allow the success into his life. Because it is about allowing. It's not about making it happen. It's about allowing it. It's about allowing the person who says, I want to fund your business. It's about allowing the person who says, I want to buy from you. I want to buy from you the whole year. We are a company that's willing to buy from you for the next three years. We want to buy from you. So we don't want to ask stuff from you that you can't even do. We just want whatever that you are producing, we want to buy it. And that's, that's, that's how we want to live life. We want to start a business and people buy from it. We want to have a career and people will see our, 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 our value. People actually pay us what we supposed to be paid in that job. When it's time for a bonus, they give us our bonus. When it's time for, an, for, for a promotion, they give us the promotion without questioning who we are, why we are here, what's going on, and see our value. That's what we want. But when it happened like that, in the easy way, you will not be judging another person who doesn't have it or who is not in that position that they don't have it. So you will be in a relationship with someone who doesn't have money. You will understand that they just don't understand something. It's not that they have... Um, been sitting around all this time and doing nothing. It's just because all this time they never got the information. And then you know that one day, somehow, somewhere, they will find the information. And it could be, it, it could only take them three days, guys, if you have a pure vibration, high vibrating thought about what you want. It takes only three days for you to get there, 72 hours for you to get what you want. So that means that, that doesn't mean that if they're broke today, they can't be rich in four days. So you understand that and you know that and you don't judge them for that. Okay, so now this person that feels like they have, people are jealous of them, it's because they've been doing so much and then all of a sudden it's like, guys, I've arrived. Come, come, come and, and like sit there and be like, yay, hey, the queen, she has arrived. Okay, so people are like, well, whatever. They are, they are passing, and then you start saying, oh, they are jealous. They don't, they don't want to celebrate my success. They don't want to like my, my success. They don't want to, <laughs> to say congratulations to me. What's wrong with them? I thought they were my friends. I thought they were no, because the thing is, this girl, you work so hard, and you understand that this is like wow, a lot of work. So you like feel that you. No one owes you a like. No one owes you a congratulation. By the way, but then the thing is that. You are actually not in that vibration of this thing because you made it happen yourself. And the thing is that there are good chances of you then 
getting totally misaligned with this thing, which is you losing it. So hence why you will see uh, someone winning a lottery. They will not keep the money forever. Most of the people who win the lottery, there's so many studies that have shown that they lose the money. They go back to being broke because they were not aligned with the money. So it's more like you got into a luck streak and then... When you got there, you got shocked that you forgot to align yourself with this new life that you found. So, if you feel like someone is jealous in you, you what you need to do is to go and say, okay, now that I feel that someone is jealous in you, it means that I'm not in alignment with what I have. So, I've worked so hard for this thing and now I am not in alignment because I feel like somebody else is jealous in me. So, what you need to do at that point is that you need to align yourself with the vibration of that thing. So if it's money, you need to align yourself with that vibration because if really, really you were in alignment with that money, you wouldn't care who, who, who celebrates, who doesn't. So like today, right now, you're probably so aligned with who, whatever amount you have in your bank account. And you don't need anybody to come in and like, wow, congratulations, you got this job five years ago. Oh, I'm so congratulating you right now. Yo, 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 you are so good. No, you don't need that because that is who your life is right now. It's like you are there. Like this is my life. You can't be congratulating me for this stuff. This stuff I am. So you wouldn't be worried about people who's congratulating you. Will not if you are living it. So you know if you're gonna do that, you doing the fake it until you make it. Think it's okay. You can do that. But the feeling of you feeling that people are not happy for you is just you not aligned with it. So it's a good feeling. So work on that quickly. Because then if you don't, if you take long to work on it, you might lose the momentum. And you know you you and then you might stay in this position, but you might not grow to the next level because you have not arrived at this level. So you like, okay, it's fine. Let me just have a car and then everyone thinks that you are okay because you have that car, but you know like, oh this car is killing me, oh this car is killing me. But then I want them to congratulate me. So I want to look like I'm fine, but then I'm actually not fine. So well, you know what I say, people who want to fake it until they make it, it's fine. And I, I, I have a lot of people who want to fake it until they make it, but I don't help them to fake it. I help them to align with the vibration. So a person goes and buys a car and a house and a da 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 All of a sudden, it's like, oh my goodness, the salary is not enough. So we say, what should I do? Should I return the car? Should I return, should I return this and this and this? And I'm like, no. Not at all. You don't return nothing. But the thing is that then you wake up your vibration to be aligned to the money you want. So if if you um if if you are earning ten thousand and all of a sudden you've gone and buy stuff, da, 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 nice, 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 and then now you are need fifteen thousand to cover everything that you, you now need. But then you are in ten thousand, so you have this five thousand short all and you don't know what to do with your whole entire life because like things are bad. Then I say to you, no, 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 no. Let us then get you to be in the alignment of 20,000 rand. Because then life is okay. You can have 15,000, you can have an, an, an extra 5,000 rand. So it's fine. And then next time it happens again that you now on 25,000, now you make the 25,000 and you're okay. Then another thing happens, you're in 25,000 and then we just need to upgrade you to 35, you know. That is all you need to do. So... If you are going to live your life and in the lanes of fake it until you make it, it's okay. But just know that you need to keep on aligning. And it's, it's fine work. It's fine work to keep on aligning. So, and, and now we're doing a coaches boot camp. And, and I'm saying to these coaches, you know, guys, being a coach is so easy to try to live the life that people expect you to live. So you'll be like, hmm, I'm, 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 I'm this, I'm this, I'm this, I'm this, I'm this. But then on the side, you don't know what you're going to eat. You don't know, you don't have petrol, you don't have this, you don't, and you can't really tell people. Then you're just going around and borrowing this and borrowing that because you're trying to come up like this. You shouldn't be doing such stuff. No, you shouldn't. And then once something happens, then you also feel like people don't want to. Shh. Hallelujah, you. Okay. It's not supposed to happen like that. You're supposed to align yourself to the life that you want. To align yourself to the vibration of the amount that you want. So if you know that for me to be amazing every other month, I need an income of 80,000 rand. Oh, maybe an income of 50,000 rand. Or an income of whatever amount you want to have. And now you don't have that income. The only thing you need to do is align yourself with that amount, not to try to make that amount. 
And I know it sounds wrong. Hence, I said, join us on the Friday group because that's where we do the practical exercises of what I'm talking about. How do you actually get to do that? Because it's doable and it's only needing your mind. So, if you ever, ever, ever feel like someone is not appreciating you or is it's, 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 it's not congratulations it's because you're not doing the same to yourself because you wouldn't need anybody to do it if you were in it like i'm saying right now you know um you you wouldn't you don't you, once you have the house and you have your 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 things and you've lived that life for long you wouldn't Get it if people start to make a big deal out of it because you're like, but like, guys, why? Because this is me, I laugh. It looks like this. I'm just waiting to get to the next level. Why are you trying to make this a big deal? Because you're already in that vibe. So you wouldn't want people to be congratulating you for that stuff. But when you feel that people are not appreciating you, even at work, a lot of people say, you know, my boss doesn't see my value. He doesn't want to give me more money. But it's, it's not him, it's you. You are the one who is not seeing the value. And I have a whole course on um, uh, of, of professionals to help professionals understand that you having a job is amazing. It's good. It's great. You don't need to leave your job. You can find the money you're looking for in that job because that business has enough money to give you all the money that you need. In terms of bonuses, in terms of increased salary, in terms of benefits, in terms of everything else. They have it there. But it's just that you don't think you're worth it. So it then does not correspond with your vibration. So then they just keep declining, declining, declining it. And then you then think they are bad people. No, they're not. You need to fix your vibration. It starts with you. So people can never be jealous of you. If you if you if you appreciate yourself, then there's no way that people will ever be jealous of you. Like, do you ever wake up in the morning and be jealous of Oprah? I don't think so, <laughs> because and you I, do you think Oprah feels that you know it you know, I, but it, it it is it is that level. So I'm, that's what that's the example I'm giving you that. If you ever feel that feeling, know that it's you. It's you who's in misalignment with your value. Because you don't need anybody to lie to 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 uh, congratulate you on anything that you have allowed into your life, unless you have worked hard for it, then you definitely need a hallelujah. But if you've allowed it into your life, you will be more grateful that it is in your life than you'll be worried about who sees it or who doesn't. So, guys, let us do that. Let us align ourselves with what we want, and when we do get it, let us own it. Because when you own it, then you wouldn't see who is not owning it for you. Don't want people to own stuff for you. Don't want people to be like, oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. You're amazing, you're amazing. No, you need to do that for yourself. Then you wouldn't have a problem with people who are not doing it for you. So there is no one who's jealous of you. You're just the one who doesn't appreciate yourself. So if you ever think that people are jealous of you, remember, remember, remember what Cecilia said. You need to appreciate yourself more. We are done. So any questions before I switch off? <laughs> so Offensa says, Ali aligning with the higher value. Okay, we'll see how. <laughs> so you, we, we currently just doing that um, six weeks offense in the weekly coaching group. There's a lot of work to do on this subject. So go and check it out. You just don't... You, you don't have an excuse to answer to ask that question offensive because you have the work in your in your <laughs> in your phone right now or in your computer just go do the work so offensive um aligning with the higher the, the higher value in you is by you recognizing what you are worthy of so if you are worthy of stuff that is in this level, you will be shocked why people are not excited when you touch this level. See, that's what happens. So you need to be here like this. <laughs> okay, so um, let me see if someone else asked something. Uh, <laughs> Refuse says, love you, lady. I love you too. I love you too. I love you too. Oh, hi guys. Hi, hi, hi everyone. I'm looking for questions. I'm looking for questions. If you have one, type it in. Uh, homeschooling, pussy, living my dream life. Yes. Oh my goodness. I thought um, 
what's the reason for me to complain about what the schools are providing if I can then provide the education that will give my kids the education that I want them to have? And um, then, the, uh, then for some reason, because the universe always gives you what you want, and there's a whole lot of other parents who also wanted the same thing. So now they use my house because my house is bigger. They have the space to do it in my house. So they all come here. There's like a bunch of very happy kids that are doing all sorts of crazy stuff on a daily basis. And they are learning on the other side. And they get their... their um, there's, there's kids that are doing their grade 12 right now. Also mine are even small. So it's amazing. It just It just works. Okay, so... Uh, da, 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 da. I'm looking for questions. I'm looking for questions. Okay, I don't think I, I don't know if my 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 thing is showing up. Ah, um, often says he's just came for a friend. Yes. So tell your friend to join us on the Friday group. So guys, thank you so much for tuning in, and we're gonna have episode fifty two tomorrow. And I think we should talk about this um feeling of um um wanting to make money on things that other people are making money on because it looks like it can make money and then you're just there for the money and then you don't even know what's going on so i think tomorrow we can talk about that because I've, I've been getting a lot of messages from people saying pussy can i do this to make money pussy can i join this to make money pussy will this work if i join it i'm like why are you joining it oh i want to make money okay so you can make money on anything, wherever you are right now, wherever you are right now, you can make the money you want to make. So you don't have to move from where you are to the next place. To make, na corner, you're just going to find the same thing. If you're not making money here, you're not going to make money in the next thing. So, and, and obviously I have to, you know, say, let's meet for a coaching session and then find out how you can make money where you already are. Because money is an energy. It flows anywhere. It's just a vehicle. Like you can drive a Toyota, a BMW, a Mercedes. Da, da, da. They are all vehicles. So you can't be saying, hi, a BMW doesn't get to Deben, so let me get a Mercedes to get to Deben. No, 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 no. You, it doesn't work like that. Mercedes gets to Deben, BMW gets to Deben. They all get there. So I want tomorrow on episode 52 to talk about that because a lot of people are asking me the question and it's a, it's a big deal, apparently. It's a big deal on where to make the money. It is not about where to make the money. It is about are you allowing the money? Because anywhere you are, the money can come to you with what you already are doing. You don't need to get onto another vehicle to make the money. Okay, so Klesha says, how do we join the Friday group? So, Klesha, you send me an email at busi, busi at busiselesho.com or you send me an inbox. But I think um, Sulu has just sent your message. She's going to inbox you the details on how to join the group. Tembi says, how, Bussi, how do I join the Friday group? Yes, also Tembi says <laughs> the same thing. So Tembi Tsulu will send you in messages because you can see on those comments, she'll send you the MC. But other than that, you just send an email or you you send an inbox. That's how you get into the Friday group. So other than that, all this these videos, guys, are on my YouTube channel. It's Bussi Sele Show. You can go there and see the other videos you did not see. So this is video... 51 so there's a there's like 50 other videos that you can um learn from and then you can join us on the friday group you can buy the book and share with your friends thank you guys have a nice day have a nice what's the day today wednesday or is it thursday wednesday it's wednesday have a nice wednesday and maybe tomorrow we're gonna have episode 52 i hope we're gonna have episode 52 and talk about that stuff of the money vehicle type thing we need to deal with that. We need to really deal with that. Because people are ma wasting so much energy trying to move from one vehicle to the next. You're trying to move from a BMW to a Mercedes just to get to Deben. Well, you can just drive what you already have to Deben. Okay. Bye-bye, guys. Have a nice day.